Are the Nuo Bells clone adjustable dumbbells any good? Let's talk about that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Aaron. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Nuo Bells or also called the Flex Bell clone and this is not the original version of the Nuo Bells and I'm going to be reviewing to see if they are any good. So if you've watched my 30 days transformation, you've probably seen me using a pair of adjustable dumbbells and these are the dumbbells that I have been using. So let's talk about. So these are the pair of dumbbells that I have been using. As I mentioned earlier, it's called the Nuo Bell or Flex Bell. Uh, however, they are actually the clone of it. So it's not the original, which is why I wanted to do a quick review on them. So just to give you a back history, I had a pair of adjustable dumbbells prior, but they broke. So I did quite an extensive search to find a replacement for my adjustable dumbbells and I saw the Nuo Bells, which, which was recommended. However, they were a tad expensive and while doing my search, I found a clone of it. It was like 180% more affordable which is probably the reason why I got it instead of the Nuo Bells. So the Nuo Bells cost about $750, which is about 3,400 ringgit. And this clone actually cost around 1,200 ringgit, about $150. Let's talk about the build. If it's any good, do I recommend it? Let's talk about that. So these are the dumbbells. It can go up to about 36 kilos which is about 80 pounds i did measure the accuracy of the weight and it's quite accurate to 80 pounds which is again 36 kilos and something that i like is the build of these adjustable dumbbells as you can see it's built rather good the adjusting of the weights is pretty easy while it does have like a tension it's rather easy to get the weight that you want so for example if i want four kilos all i have to do is put four right here and just pull the weight up as you can see it's easy lock it back in turn it to eight kilos and put it up back it's gonna pull eight kilos now another thing that i like about this weight is that the weights are the same right here so each plate is the same in terms of the weight so you know what you're getting uh, previously i did have the bow flex and the bow flex got broken which is why i gotten these weights right here and what i didn't like about the bow flex is that one the handle is rather rough so it's rough on your hand so i had to wear gloves whenever i use it this is not so it's rather smooth so i do like how i'm able to hold the weight and it's not rough on the hands even if you go up in weight another thing is that it's smaller in sizes so whenever you're doing like a different type of workout it's not gonna get in your way so for example the both the bow flex is rather long as you can see the bow flex is rather long regardless of the size so this is just 10 pounds and even with 10 pounds uh, you'll need to use the entire length of the dumbbell compared to this right here so um, if i'm just going for eight kilos as you can see the difference is night and day i'm just gonna use eight kilos worth of length and not the entire length regardless of your weight here you need to use the entire length which might not work too well depending on your workouts so for example if i want to do a workout like this as you can see it's back at the top and i can't get a full tension i need to go like this so let, let me sit down but simply just based on the build i think they are both built well the bow flex and the clone i do like how again this is built slightly different this does feel a little bit flimsy compared to this as you can see maybe this is more plastic but yeah i do like the tension whenever i'm using this workout and i can again feel the full range of my workout compared to this where again i keep feeling like it's dropping with my movements why i got a different brand compared to the Bowflex is that it uses this mechanism and what happened with this mechanism is that right here what happened with this mechanism is that one of them broke and because the entire thing broke i couldn't use the entire thing i couldn't twist this i couldn't use this well i'm not too sure about how this is built and the mechanism with these so other than that con of not being able to drop your weights the other con that i did notice with this is that every time when you're done with a set where you want to change your dumbbells not every time goes back into the proper grooves so i'm not sure if i can reproduce it so for example if i'm done with the 12 i pick it up put it back here well it's working now 
All right, here, you can see here, it doesn't go back to the groove completely, so you can't change it. So you need to make sure that you pull it up, put it back in, then you go back to proper groove where you're able to change the weight that you want. So other than that, I've been pretty abusive with this and so far the last 30 days, it lasted pretty well. And I think that I do like that it's round, so it's the same weight as what it looks like on a normal dumbbells. So that's another good thing. Since it's a clone, I do not know what is the difference between this quality and the original Flex Bell or Nuo Bells. But this is, to me, it's great value. And based on what I've seen people using it, I, I did not see any complaints from people using this. So I would say it's up to you. It's, it depends on your budget. If, if you have the budget, definitely go with the original one. If you do not have the budget, if you're maybe a college student, you want a pair of adjustable dumbbells in your dorm, if you only have a small space, if you are a casual gym goer and want a pair of it, or if you know that you're going to be spending money and not going to be using it in a year time, then these are, this is great value for you. Otherwise, if you have the budget, definitely go for the real original Nuo Bells. I hope you found this review useful. If you see a pair of Nuo Bells clone and seen any issues with it, do let me know. Or if you've used the original and have a pair of these as well, I definitely want to hear from you as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the review. Uh, did I miss anything? Do you have any questions about these weights? Anything that I can answer, definitely leave it in the comment section below. And if you want more videos like this, do let me know in the comment section as well. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe below. See you in the next one.